doesn't have a blah 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 teleport. That's what I'm looking for. Poppy doesn't have a teleport. So the team of Bob Fatty Chocolate Sunday is down zero one, not in this game, but in games because uh, there's already been a two two team with them, and they lost the first game. If you haven't seen that one, sorry I spoiled it, but I'm going to be uploading them probably in the order that... Oof! Nice flash there by Bob, by, blah, 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 by Bob Fatty to save his life. And he used up the rest of his mana to deal a little bit of damage before he did it. So that was a smart play, although using up flash was a little bit dangerous uh, for the future. Now Chocolate Sunday's here. Definitely in a rough position, and um, he's got a little bit more damage output, but I don't know if that's necessarily the best thing. He's probably going to be going for, um, not sure exactly what those build, so let's check it out. Defense, health, let's try to keep an eye on the screen, too, in the background. Where, what am I looking for? Ruby Crystal, and, um, oh, there, Phage. Lol, I should have known that, but, Okay. Morgana's coming back. I thought she had teleport, but apparently I was mistaken. And again, the tower damage is just slowly adding up. <coughs> Ash is going to probably pop off a of volley soon. Deal, yep. Yeah. Deal a little bit more damage. Again, everything adds up. The mana's not that big of a deal for her. Because especially at this low of a level, she's a... Uh, her cooldown is still pretty long, 12 seconds or so, maybe 8, depending on how many points she's put into it so far. And at least they've achieved parity. Blue team has achieved parity in terms of creep, but we're going to see how long that lasts. Pretty sure it won't last long. Chocolate Sunday should at least attack that minion who's attacking the range minions to get some damage out there. Nice little stun there, and a tormented soil to deal a little bit of damage. Morgana's classic combo. And they are doing the smart thing there of not letting their tower take any damage. And uh, I feel real bad for Chocolate Sunday. He's, uh, I don't know, it's really difficult to to do stuff in this lane, basically in the middle lane as a range champion, or as a melee champion. Spell immunity by Bob Fetty there, and the kill is down. Oh, is he going to go for it? Oh, is it going to be a double kill right here? <sighs> they almost got a double kill right there. Wow. Bad Fildo staying in it with only 145 HP. Things are not looking good. Not looking good at all for the blue team. However, if Badfielder decides to make the risky move of staying in with such a low health, I think that's going to pay off for the blue team if they're able to catch him off guard. But it looks like they're going. he's deciding to go back right now, which is a smart move. Rise is playing it safe. Staying at the turret, he doesn't want to get ganked either. They might actually both be going back. It's a definite possibility. Bob Fatty back. Level 6, but probably pretty pissed off that he just died. I would be too. It's probably going to affect his play, and uh, that's not good for them because they're behind and they need to be on their best gameplay here. Although they are facing a difficult champion setup, and uh, they might they might want to be careful here for a flank. Alright, here comes Ash. Ryze could easily be in the brush, though, and come out for a little Morgana smash. We'll see if they try to go in for the tower. I wonder where Rise is. Uh oh, Chocolate Sunday. Where's Rise? There's Rise. He was just running back. Look at that cute little tormented soil. The middle's like, I will not be tormented. I am the green soil. And it looks like they've achieved parity once more. Now they're both just kind of standing around waiting for some creep to appear. Bad Filto's trying to go in here and try to get a little volley off. 
gets a little auto attack or two at the creep before they appear. Bob Fatty's got to get out of there, uses his flash again. He might want to go back to avoid being killed. If Ryze has a flash here, he could um could just end it pretty quickly. Bet you're on your edge of your seat now, viewers. Things are starting to heat up. Blue team is in a world of hurt. Are they going to be able to pull this off? Who knows? Not even me. Because I am recording this live. And it looks like they're both choosing to go for the elixirs. And uh, I think that's a pretty good move for this format. The 2v2 format really lends itself to being able to kill your opponent really fast. And the elixirs are great for that. Chocolate Sunday went for mana after this. Apparently he wasn't going for phage. I'm not really sure what he was going for. His guys' items are kind of all over the place. And they got another ultimate off, and this is where it's going to be. I think this is going to be it. Oh, they might get Chocolate Sunday here. And that's it. That's it, viewers. That's the game. It looks like Ash and Rise have defeated Poppy and Morgana.